We are starting 1-3, and again, we're talking about um, place value. And so if I wrote a number here, let's say um, 4,568,129, I think most of you know what place the nine is. It's the ones. What's the two? The tens. What's this one right here? 100. And so I could, I could just put like a ones, and I could put tens, and I could put one hundreds here. What place is the eight? So I could put a thousand. So the value of that eight is actually eight thousand. The value of this one is actually 100. What's the value of the two? 20. What's the value of the nine? Nine. What's the value of this six right here? 60,000, because this is in the 10 thousandths place. And then this is in the 100, I heard somebody say it, 100 thousandths place. So what's the value of the five? 500,000 and then the last one I'll look at here for a moment is the four and it's in the millions place and how many zeros are in a million six, six. okay so that's what we you guys probably learned when did you guys learn this like in third grade or fourth grade or I don't remember that was too long ago for me all right now but now we're looking at numbers smaller than one. So here's a decimal right there. And I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll just put um, 836. And if you look over here, you can see that just to the right of the decimal, this is what we're talking about, just to the right of the decimal, is the tenths place and you can look and see how it's it's spelled when we're talking about numbers that are smaller than one that are less than one remember how he was this tall and i was talking about one tenth that's less than than one they have a ths ending notice it says tenths and then it says Hundredths, there's that THS again. And then there's the thousandths, <coughs> THS. They're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So, if we look at the 836 for a moment, I can ask the question, I'm going to pull a stick here. Just at the 836, uh, Mr. Willard, what place is the three in the point eight three six? What place is the three? No, good try. You're close. Look at look inside your book. Okay, and you can see where the decimal is right there. What place is that three? Hundreds, perfect. Exactly right. The three is in the hundreds place. Put up 10 points for your group. Uh, Ms. Ugisa, what place is the six in the point eight three six that I'm talking about? Thousands. There's that THS ending. Put up 10 points for your group. And then uh, Ms. Maldonado, uh, what place is the 8 in point 0.836? The tenths place. Nicely done. Put up 10 points for your group. Okay? So that's what this section is largely about, that you guys are learning about the numbers to the right of the decimal. And so here they give us some good examples here. Um, and a, kind of a visual. 
look at this box here. It says um, it's filled with a thousand little cubes and Amy picks out four cubes. How can you represent that four out of a thousand as a decimal? Well, if there's a thousand cubes and she picked four, it's going to be point zero. It's not going to be there because that's the tenths. It's not going to be there because that's the hundredths. It's going to be right here in the thousandths place. Notice it's the same place as that six. That's the thousandths place. All right. So um, if I was to, so this girl, she picked, you know, four out of a thousand. Let me ask you if I picked, um, let's say I picked nine cubes, nine of these cubes. How would I represent that as a decimal, Miss Ugisa? At the thousands place. So I'm going to put decimal, zero, zero, and then what? Nine. A nine. That represents nine out of a thousand, which isn't very much. Okay. Um, notice, and they, t they talk about this here, that... Well, let me see here. If all the digits were the same, let me rewrite this here. Let's say they were all sixes. 6,666,666. Six six, and then I'll put a decimal right here. And then um, I can continue. Six uh, tenths, six one hundredths, six one thousandths. I could even go so far as the six ten thousandths. What I want you guys to recognize is that um, this six right here is ten times larger than this six. The blue six is ten times larger than the red six. And the six here that's in the yellow that I just circled that's 10 times larger than the blue, the blue six. Beautiful. Now, how about this one right here? Um, this green six that I've circled, that is um, 10 times smaller than this red six. Or you could also say it's one tenth of that six. So going in this direction, each digit is 10 times larger. Going in this direction, again, assuming all the digits are the same, they're each um, one-tenth smaller if they're next to one another. All right? So let's move down a little bit here. Convince me, it says, how is, and it looks like it's 0 .004. I'm going to pull a stick and ask a question here. That 0 .004, Mr. Moyers is not among us. Uh, Mr. Cosgrove, what place is that for right there? The thousandths place, the thousandths place. Put up 10 points for your group. So it says, how is 0 .004 the same as and different from 0 .444? Well, um, gosh, I, um, I don't, gosh, there's a lot of different ways you could answer that. It is much smaller and only has um, um, the thousandths place. Okay. 
Yeah, that's kind of a weird question. Probably should have just X'd it out. Okay. Let's move down a little bit and let's look at a couple of the guided practice. And then we'll go outside for a few minutes. So uh, let's look at number one here. It says if four cubes are pulled from a box on the previous page, and so that box, um, remember, had a thousand little cubes, how would you write? the fraction representing the cubes that are left. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, before we answer this question, I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna show you, were you guys taught in fourth grade how to convert decimals into fractions? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were, okay, awesome, awesome. Then you guys will probably know this, but let's look at it really quick anyways. So if I wanted to convert, um, 0.1 into a fraction, that's going to be the same as 1 tenth. And you might want to write this down in your book somewhere, these examples I'm going to give you. And you could, you could write them across the top here or maybe on the side, just, or some, some of the blank pages in the back, you know, wherever you want. Now, Uh, point zero 0.01, anybody have any idea what you think that would be as a fraction? Anybody have any idea? Mr. Lee Delarosa, what do you think? No, okay, I thought you were th thinking about putting your hand up. Mr. Oldham. Yeah, one, nicely done, over 100. Put up 10 points for your group. I think you guys are going to start seeing a pattern here in a moment. What if I was to write 0 .001? How would I represent that as a fraction? Now I'm seeing some hands come up. Miss Adams, what do you think? One over 1,000. I'm not done yet. What if I was to write point? Zero, 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 0001 as a fraction. Mr. Fowler, what do you think? One, 10, One over 10,000. Nicely done. I think some of you are starting to see the pattern here. All right. Mr. Williams, point. Zero, 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 one. What would that be as a fraction? What do you think? Any idea? No? Can you tell me how many zeros do you see in this one? In this right here, how many zeros do you see? One. How many here? How many here? How many here? Four. So, how many zeros, if I can get this to, there we go, how many zeros do you think I'd put in this one? Yeah, you got it. And when we're talking about five zeros, we're talking about 100,000. So do you guys see the pattern? Yes. All right. Now, um, I'm going to show you one more thing, and then we're going to take a break, and then we'll come back to the, other, uh, the first question there. So let me move this up a little bit. Hopefully, you guys copied those down. Um, what if I was to write uh, point 0.7 as a fraction? I see some hands up. Um, let me see here. Miss Noble, what do you think? Well, it'd be 7 over, what do you think? Seven over ten. Okay. 
what if I was to write, I don't know, 0.5 as a fraction? Lots of hands up. Uh, Mr. Delgado, what do you think? 5 over 10. What if I was to write 0.9 as a fraction? I'm going to pull a stick here. Uh, Miss Adams, 0.9, what would that be? 9 over 10. Okay. What if I was to write, I'm going to go a little further here. What if I was to write um, 0.53? as a fraction. 0.53. Ms. Pavase, what do you think? What's 0.53 as a fraction? Might want to turn around and look at the board that would probably help you. What's that? Any idea? No? Okay. So it would be 53 over, what do you guys think? Yep. 100. What if I was to write 0.17 as a fraction? What would that be, Mr. Lee De La Rosa? 17 over 100. What if I was to write 0.89 as a fraction? Go ahead and say it. 89 over 100. So hopefully you guys are seeing a pattern here. All right. When we first started out, with these here, um, you guys could see that um, with one digit, there was one zero. Two digits, two zeros. Three digits, three zeros. Four digits or four places, four zeros. Five digits, or you could look at it, five places, five zeros. Same thing here, what we just did, the ones we were just looking at. Notice again, it's one place, one zero. One place, one zero. One place, one zero. Two places, how many zeros? Two places, two zeros. Two places, two zeros. All right. All right. Going pretty slow here, but I think it's necessary. I'm going to stop the recording here.